Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, Karibu Sana. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a matoke recipe. One of you requested this recipe and I was so glad to do it. So without further ado, let's get into the video. For my recipe, I'm using 5 matoke and then I'm also going to add potatoes to my matoke but you can uh, skip this step if you don't want potatoes in your matoke but we really like ours with some waru's in it and then we're also going to need 1 onion and 4 cloves of garlic I'm also going to use 2 tomatoes and some dania So since this is a one pot meal, I like prepping everything before I start cooking. To peel my matoke, I'm using a separate knife because I don't like the stains that matoke leaves on knives. And then you can also apply oil to your hands or your matoke so that they don't turn black but I didn't do that because I was only peeling a few matokes. In our house we don't buy trash bags we normally use like the bread uh, wrapping to put all our organic waste in them and then we can now put the paper or the bread paper in the trash can Now that everything is clean, I can now start chopping everything up to prepare for the cooking process. I really like this knife, it's really sharp. I got it from Zion uh, Kitchenware in Nakuru. It came as a set of different knives and it also had a potato peeler and a pair of scissors. You can either cook everything whole as it is or you can chop them up. For me, I prefer chopping the potatoes and the matoke into like one inch size cubes. And this way everything cooks much faster. I added about two tablespoons of cooking oil to a big pot and then added my onions to just fry everything up. I then grated my four cloves of garlic into the onions. I don't throw my dania stems, I chop them up and then I fry them with the onions. The spices I'm using today are coriander powder, cumin powder and curry powder. I like adding spices to oil that way, the oil is infused with the spices and it's more fragrant.
Next, I added my tomatoes and some salt. I got this plastic frosted salt jar from Home Decor 254. I cover the tomatoes in low heat for about 5 minutes so that they could cook. I added beef to our matoke but you can add either mutton or chicken. And now the star of the show, the matoke and the potatoes, I add them last because they cook so fast. I added a bit of water at a level below the matoke so that they can just cook through but if you want it really stewy you can add more water. For extra flavor I added one reiko cube and one chili beef nor cube. I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to you said I was the only one. No one likes me. I covered the pot for about 10 minutes to let everything cook through. You made this mess and left me. To know if your matoke is ready, just pierce it with a knife and if it goes all the way through then you know it's very well cooked. With the pieces. Now I want to burn all the bridges between the last thing that is left to do is just garnish your matoke with some dania leaves and salve. Yes. This matoke is so flavorful, it smells so good. We enjoyed ours with some ginger tea for our dinner. And that is how I cook simple but delicious matoke for our family. I hope you try this recipe out because I know you will not be disappointed. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below on what you think about it or how you cook your matoke. And please subscribe to my channel. We are on the road to 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2022. And I'll be really glad if you came on board to help me out. Until next time, bye guys.